At the Marine, we have um, roughly 1,000 or more than 1,200 employees. We are in different kind of fields of the marine industry and super yard maintenance, um, management, but also in boat building and unmanned system and also in the commercial shipment industry. We are a stock market company, so it means we have some investors where we have to, yeah, to prove our success and also the innovation for the future. Yeah, that's me. Originally, I'm from Germany, so and uh, I was always some, somewhere in the mechanical and let's say in innovation side. Um, I was in the army, I was in the police. I went to Abu Dhabi in 2007, worked in different kinds of fields, and at the end, uh, I was hired as a project manager at Isaiah Marine in 2009. Yeah. Um, as a Head of Innovation and Capability Development, I'm in charge for, yeah, of course, technical developments, but also for cooperation with some companies which have really the knowledge to, uh, to do future projects. Uh, we don't have all the capabilities, of course, and it's really a pleasure for me to work together with uh, specialized companies. And, um, yeah, at the moment, uh, the main focus is on the additive manufacturing side, but we have some, uh, we have hired some specialists, they will operate the machine, they, they will uh, get it running and, let's say, open for, for the market. I will take care more about the alternative uh, energy solution propulsion systems in, in the marine industry. Yeah, and uh, when, when I was asked to search for 3D printing machineries, I came up with the small ones, you know, what you place on the table. Then my boss said, no, no, think a little bit bigger. Think about our in-house requirements, which we have, and we went through our factory. And um, as you see, boat building is always a lot of manpower. So the main, the main purpose why we invested is to print molds, molds for boats, but also for dashboards and stuff like that. You know? And um, structural parts, for example, as you see the guys over there, it's really a lot of uh, handwork. It's much, much easier to do it with a 3D design, to print it and to place it. You know? And um, in the future, we are working on that at the moment, is that we really print boats on a uh, commercial scale. You know? But there are some obstacles which we have to go through. But we figured out that there are a lot of other markets, especially in UAE, we have a very, very strong aviation industry. They have a huge demand. Um, we are in touch, of course, with other marine companies, especially Dubai and Sharjah. They have a lot of boat builders which are very interested in to get the molds printed. And surprisingly for me, uh, also the art and culture projects, they have a huge demand. And we have a lot of requests to, to print for them, yeah, like chairs, some um, um, carports and pillars and whatever. And it's very interesting because I'm, I'm not really the art and cult culture guy. Um, from the location, we said, okay, we are really in the middle of the world. Um, even if you have to ship something, it takes only a couple of weeks. And we had a demand before where we needed a 3D printed mold and we couldn't get it right in time because of the shipping time and the waiting time on the, on the manufacturing side. As I said, when I was asked to do some research, I had absolutely no idea about 3D printing, I want to be honest. And uh, so I did some research and Dr. Google, he told me a lot of stuff and some other colleagues I went around uh, to different suppliers and finally I ended up with seat and uh, from Formnex which was also in November uh, in 21 uh, until we signed the contract in Abu Dhabi um, it took only two months which was quite fast there was even Christmas in between and of course then the main work started we had to prepare the location where we want to install the whole machinery um, of course, there are always some obstacles, but we solve those obstacles, and at the end, now we are ready to install.
this is how it will look like or should look like uh, with two robots on two tracks. The tracks are, I think, a little bit more than 40 meters. Let's say the printing scale is 36 meters, which was our requirement from the beginning, plus some uh, heatable cables where we can uh, use uh, uh, high performance material as well. And the situation is like that at the moment that the um, tracks are installed already. 26 tons uh, in place and laser level and whatever. I have to say, as a mechanical engineer, I was really impressed about this track system. Uh, this was happening, uh, I think, uh, last month, a couple of weeks back. At the moment, uh, the robots are on, on the sea, they're swimming to Abu Dhabi now. Uh, we are expecting them before Christmas and uh, we are expecting also that we really start the machinery uh, this year. Yeah, I think this was the moment where I requested a blue robot and uh, Charlene had to confirm it's really blue. And she's like, yes, yeah, everything is fine. Uh, here we had uh, the uh, factory acceptance test, so I visited uh, the company as a supplier and uh, got all the details explained and everything was fine and, and at the moment we are really um, in, in, a, in a good timeline so that we can finish everything so that we can start end of the year, let's say commercial wise, beginning of 2023. Yeah, that's it so far. Even for the Arabs, and as we are in an uh, Arab uh, brochure now, um, because we are going on the exhibition next week on Abu Dhabi Boat Show, where we get uh, 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 well, let's say the clients from the other boat builders, I, I, uh, the other boat builders as a client. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.